see you are. So I'm Nikhil from Team 11, six, eight, 8868, and um, I'm I-U-I-U-L-8-6-8. Love the so, um, here's our idea for us, this is the problem we could solve in this, in, in our mission. So, and farmers everywhere pretty much in the U.S. are facing problems with birds. The bird called a starling, you can see a picture of a common starling, are eating the, um, the farmer's food they buy for those livestock. The farmers need to pay twice as much for food because birds are eating half of it. So I thought of a simple solution to stop these, bir um, these birds from ransacking the food the farmers buy. So um, this is the, this is a farm bird. Their high scientific name is Cernidae and their high qualification are songbirds. Their ra that rank is family and their tail length is 3.1 inches to 3.8 inches. They're, so they're normally about nine inches and they weigh to about three ounces. So these birds, um, their numbers have been decreasing. At this rate, they will go extinct. So to making sure these birds survive is key and sending, and sending them off. And this, and songbirds in general, have many different types and one main aspect that makes them different from other birds is that they can mimic almost any sound. One bird called a lyrebird, which is in normally in the Amazon, can mimic any sound from finches to car horns and chainsaws. National Geographic has put, made an experiment with a live bird and um, it has made chainsaw imitations and car siren imitations. So yeah, as I said before, the songbird population is rapidly decreasing, so making sure that they go off alive is key. So I thought of a simple idea of place, placing infrared sensors about 10 feet off the ground to, and they are linked to dog barks or eagle cries. Because if it's any other factory sound, the bird will simply try to mimic it. However, if they're dog sounds or eagle sounds, those are found with predators, which will scare the birds off. Since the birds are constantly being hunted by large amounts of predators, they will be scared to death by almost any predatory sounds, making these sounds incredibly um, scary towards them. However, before this happens, the farmers will have to inspect the area for nests. Because birds are well known to leave and abandon their eggs in their nest to protect their own life. So making sure that the, they leave with their nest is important. So farmers will have to go check their premises for nests and um, relocate them before putting, um, putting this uh, system into use. So the cost, uh, the cost of this is not, too, is not too high. It's about $300, may seem like a lot, so a high quality infrared sensor costs about $60, and since we need two of them, the cost is now $120. A roller cable that will cost about $5, so now the price is $125. And a good pair of outdoor speakers costs about $40, so now it's, we have to pay $170. And possibly a technician to wire everything up and um, get the pro and the sound in costs about $100. So totally the price of the system is $270. However, to raise a pig, for example, will cost two hundred dollars to be able to sell the, the, the meat you get from it. So, but now farmers need to pay four hundred dollars to get a pig, since birds are eating mo more of the food. So now, this system will be able, will easily, um, will be made up. The cost will easily be made up in saving if you have about three or four pigs. Do you have any other questions? Oh, I have a lot. Thank you, Laura. I like the idea. Okay. So whenever I make the questions, it's just because I'm just thinking about the other solutions. I know a few things about starlings, and they are not uh, in many other countries. Like maybe you can get a starling in North America, maybe like two in South America. Have you thought about uh, how many people this would affect? Like uh, I've seen a few projects. Uh, it's a nice idea, it's easy to understand. You can share it with multiple groups. You can uh, you know, do some stuff. But then now let's come to the part where you have to share with multiple groups and individuals. How many people will this affect? You're talking about the farmers in uh, North America, because that's where starlings are. Have you thought about other countries? Well, this is was not necessary for other countries. And here, we went to the right response. There's easily 100 starlings in that one pig bar. Mm -hmm. And it'll only be right. for one pig. So for large industries that provide the food you need, easily there's gonna be thousands of starlings. And North America is very populated, so taking care of North America first is what is necessary since we provide technology for many other countries. Yeah, because I'm just thinking because, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like this idea, I like everything about it. But I'm just thinking, uh, how many countries will this affect? 
Because if let's say uh, USA, a uh, big provider of agriculture, ag uh, I don't know, it's not the biggest provider of agriculture. There are a few countries out there that are crazy about ag agriculture and are having stable foods that they sell on the globe. But those stable foods are and they are you know being uh, taken by those other pests. You're talking about North America. It's I mean it's one of the world's. It's not the world's biggest agriculture industry, but it's not an important agriculture industry. But there is an agricultural industry. So if farmers need to pay so much more money, that means the farmers need to take FLL's more money. is not about just America. It's about but the world. If you it, help America, what will the world gain out of this? So far, is it, as America in total will need to increase the amount they sell things to other countries in order to make money to um, fund the agricultural but industry. Yeah, but then America is not the biggest, uh, you know, agriculture, the biggest uh, country that has livestock. But since we're so since we're um, the first world country, we're able to get good quality yeah, livestock. Maybe, uh, maybe they can, maybe they can have like, like a pilot option in, right now. If it is good, you can provide to all countries. Why not? Because songbirds. These bird pests are only in this kind of country. I don't think this is like a lot of bomb that can benefit the world, but I like the idea though. Okay, your point is that the idea, idea is not acceptable for the, please come in, not acceptable for the all around the world, right? Yeah, that's why we created the idea. Okay. Okay, that's enough, we got the point. Ashley, go ahead. Um, sometimes songbirds or the other ones starting, they're not always going to be inside birds. Where do you plan to put these birds? They're going to be normally on the roofs of these barns. Because starters, they don't just sit in one place. They'll keep on flying around and switching the food. So, so instead of flying down to the big barn, the sense will be able to uh, sense them. But if only because these humans, they're going to be about 10 feet in the air. Would they be able to hear the sound from the roof? So, songs are, like I said before, they won't be scared to death by almost any predatory noise. And they have an, they are adapted to hear it a lot. So, yeah, they're used to being hunted. So they work their just around the food. And yeah, and if we, if we don't do anything, we're going to be paying more. The starlings won't be learning with um, the skills they need to go hunt and not hunt, but um, scavenge the wild. And that's not going to help them. It's going to make them lazy. But then again, if you say how starlings get food, they're less good at eating. They, they, they have berries to eat nuts. Uh, is that okay for their digestive system? Yes, it is fine for them. Uh, so you know how you have those sounds, like eagle sounds? Yes. So wouldn't the predators or starlings uh, be able to be notified that uh, there's a there's a prey nearby and then they'll just come and try to decompete for the food? The thing is, see, wait, 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 can you repeat your question, please? I don't understand. So like, you know how you have the starling, right? Yes. Uh, he steps on the steps on the sensor and then step the sound is made. Right. The sound is made. Okay, and eagles nearby, right? Mm -hmm. Who are trying to catch food? They'll come and they'll uh, come and they'll know where the starling is, and they'll go to try to eat. Eagles will understand that. See the thing? They won't understand it this quickly. Starlings will come a couple times, and then they'll all leave okay. because of sound. And plus, eagles are territorial, so they hear one eagle in by in our area, mm -hmm. they're probably gonna stay clear of it okay. because if it, because if it comes, both eagles will fight, and one's gonna die. Mm -hmm. So, have you thought about this? Uh, let's say uh, your infrared sensors, uh, you're going to place them all around the farm. You're pretty much like two per building, but mostly attack the eagle to the base. Okay, and yeah, one more thing. Uh, what happens if your infrared sensor can't sense it? Is there a backup plan of any sort? Well, then most farms, do they do have their farm dogs. Correct? Yes. Most farms do have their dogs. So that dog is pretty much going to be a backup. So then why would you so how many dogs do you need to get? Let's say, you saw how big one of your farm was. So you're going to get you a dog just need one, one dog, dog, just a sound. Okay. You just need one dog with the sound. But then and a real dog would be, if you have multiple dogs, it's easy. That'd be a danger to the bird, because dogs are natural hunters. Oh, I have a okay. yeah. yeah. If you have dogs, then why would you need this? Yeah. How would you convince people? Dogs, yeah. Dogs are natural hunters, so they will kill most but songbirds. Songbirds fly, right? Mm -hmm. Songbirds do fly, so. Yeah, they wouldn't go near dogs. So how, 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 